Imagine the trip of your dreams. Until it's not. But let's go back to the beginning. everyone and welcome back to my channel so i'm in france i kind of wanted to do like a little vlog diary thing and kind of make it like a concise little montage of all the days that we're going to be being here a lot of little tiny cities that we went to i'll put up the names of the cities and everything so you guys can see what's going on a lot of crazy things have happened to us in this trip say hi to the vlog right now i'm in lyon france and you guys will see eventually when i get here but look at this view and this is right outside the window over here is like this little park and there's like a bridge and a river. What is this? I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let's get started. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. First day we spent the entire morning and afternoon going to a bunch of French communes and each little part had his own personality but I think my favorite one was the first one that we went to. By the way, I'm not gonna pronounce any of these words because I don't want to butcher it but the name is up on the screen. <laughs> And this was the moment where the first hurdle came. I think my biggest nightmare is for the car that I'm currently occupying to fall off a mountain. And this didn't happen, but it almost did. And it scared every living being out of my body. I don't know how I was able to remain so calm, but we were trying to get the wheel to budge the car out of the current placement it was in because it was slipping and it was very muddy and we were just very scared. Long story short, we had to walk all the way down the mountain to have somebody help us and get a towing service to get this car out of this mountain but it was just not possible that day so we had to leave the car overnight grab an uber back to our hotel room and fix the issue the next day it was such a nightmare but 20 hours later we finally got the car and then when we got the car back it was the most intense feeling of joy i literally jumped up and down so stay tuned for the unfortunate chronicles of this france trip you have a situation where you are really in control of things, that is to say in which the future is almost completely predictable. Okay, so the next day we were able to go to the town that we never ended up going the day before, so yay. This was my second favorite. I love all of the effort that they put into the Christmas decorations. It felt like I was inside a fairy tale Christmas village. It was amazing and they had great pastries as well. I can't get over how cute this town is. It feels like I'm in a fairy tale. This was like a little neighborhood inside Colmar when we were driving our car all the way back to the hotel already. And it's this little mini Venice. It's super cute. All these boats would go by under this bridge and it just gave me Italy vibes. And I had a Nutella crepe, so it was fire. And this is a little tour of our place. This place was super cozy to me. I absolutely loved just crashing here after a long day. It just gave me very cozy winter vibes.
I think this was my favorite day in the entire trip. we went to this medieval castle on top of this mountain it was literally beautiful i just feel like i needed to be walking around in a dress in here but i mean the clips speak for themselves it was such an aesthetic i was in love with it hello <laughs> i love to be the one to make you to Strasbourg, which is another big city in France. Obviously, everything was very seasonal, but there was this really cute Christmas market where they were selling a bunch of knickknacks and souvenirs and a bunch of food. And then we went to the Notre Dame of Strasbourg. It was nice to go to a different town that wasn't as small as Colmar was. literally took us so long to get to the city because the trains were on strike so our train got cancelled we got no emo notification and we literally had to refund our ticket and buy like four different train tickets to drop us off in different parts of france to eventually get to lyon it was such a headache we got there five hours after we intended to actually get there but it was christmas eve and we just wanted to eat some dinner and go to bed so this is how the day ended <laughs> This was a day that was dedicated entirely to Lyon, so we went to a bunch of cathedrals and plazas, so enjoy.
from Lyon all the way to Paris where we stayed for a couple more days before we left. The room had a literal iPad that you can control like the lighting and the curtains. It was like so extra. I loved it. This was one of my favorite parts of Paris, going to the Louvre. This is so iconic. This is where the Mona Lisa is and a bunch of iconic paintings that I remember seeing throughout my life, but I didn't know were here and I just stood there like, Oh, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> So the next day we went to this beautiful Catholic church. I don't know what it is about churches on top of mountains, but it was beautiful. Then, of course, the iconic Eiffel Tower. It's a lot shorter than I expected it to be, but it looks so well constructed and I got it in the perfect like golden hour. Then we went back to the street where all the main stores are and we went to Zara because apparently Zara is a European store and it's way cheaper in Europe. So we took advantage and went there and tried to buy like staple pieces for our wardrobe. This is the iconic arc. You're able to buy tickets and go all the way to the top and you can see basically all of the streets divide and fork out. You can see the Eiffel Tower from up there. It's beautiful. I don't care what we do, just make sure it serves to. How about we dance to the silence? How about we organize a riot? gelato and window shopping we decided to take the little boat that goes around paris under these little bridges and it was absolutely magical i loved it
before we knew it, it was time to go. the video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i absolutely love making travel vlogs so this is probably one of my favorites i really hope you liked this video please like this video because that's how you let me know subscribe for more videos like these and hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every single time i post i post every single sunday and i will see you guys in my next one bye